Breast Reconstruction Techniques Breast reconstruction has come a long way, and there are now different techniques that surgeons use to make women's breasts look as natural as the original. Single Stage Immediate Breast Reconstruction with Implants This technique involves the placement of expander implants during mastectomy. These are saline implants with a fill tube that allows the surgeon to gradually restore the natural appearance of the breast by injecting small amounts of saline solution into the implant over several months as the patient recovers from the surgery. Once the implant has expanded to a satisfactory size and shape, the surgeon will remove the fill tube and the implant will seal itself. Tram Flap Breast Reconstruction Technique the transverse rectus abdominis myocutaneous tram flap technique allows the surgeon to transfer tissue from the abdomen to reconstruct the breast. The procedure is performed by using the skin and fat from the rectus abdominis muscle. This muscle has two flaps of skin and fat. The one that is used is the portion from the lower abdomen. The muscle doesn't shape the breast, but its blood vessels supply blood to the skin. The fat and skin remain attached to the flap and are tunneled through the abdomen to the chest where the flap is used to shape the breast. Free Tram Flap Breast Reconstruction Technique This is an improved version of the tram flap technique in the way the skin, fat, and muscles are handled. Only a small portion of the rectus abdominis muscle is used. The surgeon separates the skin and fat from the muscle and positions it onto the chest then reattaches the blood vessels through microsurgery to restore adequate blood supply. Deep Flap Breast Reconstruction Technique The Deep Inferior Epigastric Perforator Deep Flap Technique uses the same piece of skin and fat as in the Tram Flap and Free Tram Flap procedures, but it preserves the abdominal muscle. The surgery is done on the surface of the chest and not inside the body. This technique is more advanced but is more difficult to perform. A breast created using deep flap can look and feel almost identical to natural breast. If there is insufficient tissue, an implant can be placed under the flap at a later date. Gap Flap Breast Reconstruction Technique The gluteal artery perforator gap flap technique uses tissue from the upper part of the buttocks. It can be a good alternative when the abdominal flap has already been used or is scarred. In most women, a very small amount of buttocks tissue needs to be removed and it will not interfere with sitting. However, if the surgery leaves a noticeable depression in the flesh, liposuction can be done to resolve the problem. Asaya Flap Breast Reconstruction Technique the superficial inferior epigastric artery asaya flap technique is similar to deep flap but it utilizes superficial blood vessels unfortunately not all women make good candidates because they may have tiny superficial inferior epigastric vessels which could not provide adequate blood supply to the flap if the vessels are not large enough the surgeon will not be able to perform this technique tug flap breast reconstruction technique the transverse upper gracilius tug flap technique uses tissue from the upper parts of the thigh which is transferred to the chest along with the gracilius muscle. Thigh tissue results in soft and naturally shaped breasts. This is a good alternative if scars on the abdomen from previous surgery prevent its tissue from being used in deep or asaya flap techniques. For patients who don't have enough abdominal tissue or those who don't want abdominal scars. Latissimus dorsi flap breast reconstruction technique. Using tissue from below the shoulder blade on the back, the surgeon will bring a section of skin, fat, and muscle around to the breast area. Many patients who have had this procedure also need a tissue expander to allow for additional breast volume. At a later date, the tissue expander is replaced by a breast implant. Click next to know more on breast reconstruction following a mastectomy.